Guys, I got some concerning news for you. I'm pretty sure Tactical Ops is the last actual event until Season 2. So we might be getting some dark times. Also, we'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you some news and information about Halo as we normally do on the channel here and today is a little bit of doom and gloom because I know a big issue within the community right now is content. Not enough stuff to do within Halo Infinite and a lot of people are just kind of like bouncing out and waiting until something cool happens with the game. You know I'm still continuing on. I'm still playing right now. We do have the Tactical Ops event which has been a great addition because the battle pass that comes along with the Tenrai event, the special event pass, has some really good content in it and playing SWAT isn't like that bad of an experience really uh, not my preferred pre experience but you know you know to each our own i guess so i would say going through the challenges to unlock this pass right now is uh probably the biggest drag i think i've ever experienced when it comes to going through a pass in halo infinite and that's more than just like regular challenge completions i'm just talking about like like the challenges i have to do for the weekly stuff and also for the tactical ops event you know, I'm just like, I'm really feeling the grind on this one. Like it's, I'm feeling much more like homework than it actually feels like fun time to play. That could just be part of burnout since I've been playing this game so much. As I look on Steam right now, I'm sitting right at about 260 hours of play time of Halo Infinite. So I've certainly put my fair share into the game. But it recently dawned on me that Tactical Ops is the last known event that we've known about in Halo Infinite. What I mean by that is back in, I believe like in December or maybe November, around that time frame was when all these events were leaked out with along with their dates and most of them were pretty much correct or were on point uh, obviously the tactical ops event was delayed uh, but it was never announced you know kind of thing but all the other events that were tied to Halo Infinite were on point when it comes to the leaks when it comes to their passes and the release dates so now it just kind of hit on me like okay so all we're gonna have left are like two separate weeks of Tenrai after this and that's it and I've already completed Tenrai and I'm really happy that I did so I never have to struggle with the Fiesta challenges ever again because I'm not really a huge Fiesta fan. So Tactical Ops really could be like the last true event for us to kind of grind through and play. Obviously, I know there's going to be people out there who have probably have not finished through the 10 right Pass, so you'll probably have some more experiences to go through that. But I'm sure if you're a fan who's watching YouTube videos, you probably grinded out everything as much as possible because you just want to play much, much Halo and get as much content as possible. And we think things are like down bad right now when it comes to like content and what's playable within Halo Infinite. I think things are going to get darker. What I mean by that is since we're not going to have like any true like new events or anything to really play through, I can see a lot more people dropping off. Friend of the show, Eckhart Slater, recently tweeted out this post of showcasing the Steam chart populations when it comes to Master Chief Collection and Halo Infinite, and seeing the blue line here being the Halo Infinite, the green line being the Master Chief Collection. And guys, it's getting like scarily close between like the populations merging, if not even surpassing Halo Infinite, which is quite concerning for a game that's free to play and also brand new Halo experience. Of course, the Master Chief Collection has a bit of an unfair advantage of having essentially 20 years of development of Halo packed into one game, which is kind of crazy to think about. People talk about the paywall that's involved with Master Chief Collection, but it's gone on sale so many times over the years. And also it's like at max it was like 40 bucks. So it was a pretty decent price anyways. With the lack of new playlists, the lack of new events coming in, like Tactical Ops looking like to be the last one, true last one. Like I said, we have 10 for like another two weeks but not very people are going to be playing that i assume uh that this population could get low and we could possibly see the master chief collection overtake halo infinite and with two months until the release of season two i'm not really having high hopes of really having a lot to do with halo infinite until season two i don't mean to be like such a doomer when it comes to this stuff like i'm not trying to, i'm not trying to farm doom scroll clicks or anything like that but it just kind of hit me the other day i'm like oh damn like we're really not going to have anything to look forward to in Halo until season two, which is in two months. I would hope by that point, we at least have like a rotational playlist, which I know they mentioned about that previously coming into Halo Infinite. But even then, like what kind of stuff can you pull off right now with custom games being, well, not really that well fleshed out. I mean, you can maybe mix, mix around with like damage values and gravity and stuff like that and do something a little crazy. But like for the most part, I couldn't imagine it being too much in the same parts when it comes to, well, what you can do with Halo Infinite. 
So I would say the only hope we have to have anything new to do in Halo Infinite to some degree would be like a new playlist or something to jump in and have some fun. But like an actual playlist to jump in and have fun, having like the tactical ops event with like the tactical slayer variants, not exactly like new content. They said you're just playing swap, but this time you have a mangler or this time you have a sidekick in your hand, like not that different of an experience. One thing I think would be just total chaos and actually kind of fun to mess around with would be like a big team battle fiesta on the map behemoth. I don't know why. I just have a feeling like that map for some reason would be like total chaos and would actually be kind of fun. Fiesta on behemoth went during the tenor events. Actually, it was probably one of the better maps to play fiesta on. Now, it did feel a little slow being 4v4, but if you bump that up to like 12v12, I mean, it'd be like total chaos. I mean, it'd be like those like Metro 24-7 servers back in like Battlefield 3. We had 64 players playing Conquest on Operation Metro, and it was just insanity, but people loved it. I mean, people love chaotic maps and situations. Like, also like on Call of Duty, people have loved Nuketown for the longest time because it's total chaos and but still really fun same thing with the infinity war games with shipment that game map has been remade so many times over since call of duty 4 because it's total chaos and just like mindless fun which i think halo is kind of missing that right now especially on the matchmaking side of things because everything feels like a ranked mode because well ranked is ranked and sweaty but then also the, M the hidden mmr behind all the social modes makes everything else feel kind of sweaty and difficult where you don't really feel like you have a chance to just kind of hang out and play Halo, at least in an easy way, without any kind of server browser in there either. We can't really make up custom games for people to jump in and play really easily. So having a tailored playlist situation, like we have like with the MCC, with a rotational bi-weekly playlist, I think would be super beneficial for Halo Infinite right now. And I know game modes like Griffball and Infection have been highly requested, especially Infection, but I do believe that those two modes in particular are heavily tied to the Forge experience as well. Yeah, you could definitely play Infection on like Bazaar and stuff like that, but it wouldn't really feel like an Infection map or really lend itself to any kind of good gameplay at least. But like even then, like something like Infection would definitely help liven up the playlist at least a little bit in some capacity. Because right now, if we're just going to begin like Tenrite, for two for like another two weeks until for the next two months like that's a bit concerning and we're gonna see some serious drop off with this game because for me right now the only fun i'm really having with halo infinite is with the ranked modes and with btb i think both are playing great uh, i just feel like right now if i'm playing any form of 4v4 gameplay i might as well just play ranked that's just a little bit more balanced and to me that's a little bit more fun but let me know in the comment section down below guys do you feel like we're truly starting to enter into the dark ages when it comes to halo infinite it's just going to be the true content drought not the content drought that we had before the release of halo infinite that we all talked about but this might actually be like the true content drought where like nothing is happening until we get like a blog update next month in april again this is where something like a roadmap would be super helpful to know just kind of ease people's concerns about the future of this game because we're effectively what five months into the release of this game even though like technically it was december 8th yes but effectively the launch of the multiplayer was on november 15th and we still don't really understand like what the future of this game is going to be if you didn't follow any of the leaks or this channel in particular by the way just saying uh, you would have no idea that we were going to have like the tactical ops event until what yesterday i feel like i just needed to put that warning out for you guys out here to like see like oh god things are gonna drop in numbers things are gonna get less popular things are gonna be people are gonna be complaining more about halo infinite that stuff's going to come and especially in the next two months until we actually get some news information about like the roadmap which i still hope highly that we'll get this month uh hopefully we get some more information about season two but something like we won't really get that until uh the april blog that they mentioned within the march update make sure you subscribe to the channel guys to keep yourselves up to date if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here i got a link to all my halo infinite news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out